Should I get a uh, chicken cheesesteak with onions and mayonnaise? Uh, and with extra cheese. Okay, I've been trying to start this video for like 25 minutes now. I've been thinking of how to do the intro. I have, for some reason, an issue when I need to do like review videos and things to just get started. Like when I go vlog, I'm like, boom, what's up, bitch? I'm going flying. It's really easy. But when I'm doing like review stuff, I don't know. I just have to be in the right mindset or fucking something. Okay, this thing's tight. No, no, let's just not start it like that. So Rotori made a gaming controller, huh? I was like, what? <laughs> that, I feel like it was completely out of left field. I had no idea that this was even coming out and then I got one, which I should probably grab for this review. It's pretty good. <laughs> Look at this. This is like a thing that you're gonna go to Best Buy and you're gonna be like, oh, let me get a return this GoPro insurance, let me get an SD card. No, no, let me grab one of those Rotor Riot controllers. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's so tight. This is what it comes in. It has, you know, a little package with some things on it and uh, the Luda map, I guess is, I should have done some research on this maybe before the video, but Luda map, you download their app. They have a ton of games that works with the controller. So I'm assuming it's the gaming controller people or whatever. But it's Rotor Riot, it's Rotor Riot fucking branded. You guys wanna see what's inside the box? Look at that, <laughs> it's a fucking, it comes with this controller and then it comes with this thing that holds your phone on the top. Let's assemble it. All right, so it looks like there's a little spinny. Is this gonna focus on me or focus on the controller, you piece of shit. Um, so it comes with this and it comes with this. You put this on, oh, on that. You put that on that. You put in a little spinning screw that's out of focus. It's not my camera. The screw is just, is the light doing the fucking thing? Are you kidding me? So you just screw the little top thing on, and then it has a thing, and then it focuses. So you just put the little top foam part on. It's wired, that's the whole thing. Oh, let's go to the other camera. It's wired, that's the whole reason that this is gonna be superior to any like Bluetooth fucking gamepad that you buy. It has this USB, Type C coming up out of it if you have an Android. If you have an iPhone, then it has the iPhone wire coming up out of it. You get your phone and you put your phone in the thing and then you play your fucking games on the thing because you plug it in so there's no latency because Bluetooth whoop, plugged in has a little bit of latency. I've tried this out on a couple games and it works pretty fucking well. I've been playing like Super Mario uh, 3 on an emulator and shit. Okay, so that's the only thing I've played. <laughs> as soon as I got the controller, I downloaded Super Mario 3 for one of my emulators, and I played it on here. And it plays pretty fucking good. Make an imitation crab meat log. Oh, so the buttons. So this is A, or whatever. Like, that should be run and jump or something. You can probably remap them. Well, Mario fucking works really well, but this was designed to do your droney stuff. So let's download or let's run this fucking random game that I got called Amazing Drones and hope you don't have to log into a fucking account or anything to play it. Okay, so we're at, we're here. Oh, do you press play? Oh, shit. Okay, so there's an ad. Uh, as soon as you start, there's an ad. Amazing drones. Zero thumbs up. All right, the controller does not work right off the bat on amazing drones. Maybe is this a setting for something? Hmm, all right, let's go to the main menu. Let's go to settings. I do not see a controller options. So, Amazing Drones fucking sucks. All right, next up is Minecraft. Let's press play. Uh, what? I just want to fucking play. Big men won't attack you unless you attack them. Yeah. So I didn't set up the controller. I just turned the game on. It's plugged in. Let's see if it works right off the bat like the emulators do. 
Yeah, and um, success. It works. Wow, wait a second, what's happening? Am I controlling that? Oh, weird, okay, wait. It was, it was working, and now I'm not able to move. Um, oh, no, no. <laughs> Okay. It's weird. The inputs are all weird. Okay, like, I tapped left. Nothing happened. Press left. Press left. Press left. Okay. It wasn't working for a second, but now... It, it was, like, spazzing out or something, I feel like. But now it works. What's this? A wolf? Come here. Come here, wolf. Let me punch you in your fucking wolf head. Yeah, bitch. Yeah. Oh, wait. That's a... De yeah, motherfucker. Give me your shit. Give me your wool. Now, this is one of the Luda maps. Am I saying that right? <laughs> the Ludo map games. If you get their app, there's a ton of games that you can download on it. One of them is Sonic the Hedgehog, which normally I would just run a Sega emulator, but I want to see what's up with this. It's like, got a little fancy intro and shit it looks like. Um, I don't want to... Well, there's an ad for more of their games. I don't want to remove ads. Get your ads out of here, please. I just want to play some Sonic. Let's see. No, I don't want to play this game either this is advertising i know this is advertising lunchables thank you for telling me i am a fan of lunchables though i do eat a lot of lunchables no yeah, i don't want to play this god damn it i don't want to see the advertising okay i want to play sonic please uh no save mode let's just fucking let's run it just let's just send it all right cool uh sonic not tails or knuckles please regular old sonic that's a familiar sound. <laughs> a little nostalgic Sega sound. Alright. Sonic 2 looks pretty legit so far. Except for the shit in the beginning. But whatever, it's free. Oh, jump works pretty well. Which is really all you do. Sometimes you duck to do your... Yep, that works. This is a pretty good... Uh, I don't know if this is just like a fucking copy of a ROM that they somehow got or whatever, but is it public domain yet? <laughs> Sick. All right. Well, Sonic works. All right. So I downloaded FPV Freerider. Let's see. Uh, touch. I don't want touch mode. It has, in the demo version, the quad has deliberately sluggish settings. Okay. How do I, um, acro or get the fuck out, man? Is this level mode? In third person view? The fuck is this bullshit? Okay, take two. It's got a little logo, rotor, little rotor logo, little Royal Riot logo right there. So, this is pretty cool. It depends on the game, if it has controller support, obviously. The emulators and the Luda Maps games, obviously, also have controller support in them. Only some of the drone games that are on the market that I tested do. There's a fucking ton of drone games. I didn't, I downloaded like three or four of them to try out. A couple of them worked, a few of them didn't because they didn't have controller support or whatever. But I think this is neat for the phone games. I haven't really played that many games on my phone. I own Minecraft because I fuck with it on my phone. But this, I never thought about getting a controller. I just did it on a mobile. This would be sick, especially because it's not Bluetooth. You just fucking don't have to worry about charging it. You just plug it in your phone. I ride the subway now and then. I read books or I bring my Switch. This would be cool if there was a fucking sweet ass drone game. If there was like liftoff on a phone, I'd be bringing this bitch everywhere I go. If I have my phone with me, I'd be bringing this so I can get a quick like, fuck online, are you kidding me? Can we please have like online liftoff fucking phone game with this shit? That'd be so fucking sick. I know uh, I saw that Capper was using his with a Spark and with uh, this other like little, it was like a hundred dollar beginner Wi-Fi drone or whatever so you can, you know, if people want to get into FPV, you can start for $150 instead of three, four, five hundred dollars plus whatever it costs. I'm gonna go do that. My spark is fucking broken. My spark is no more. I don't even own like the physical broken parts. I just don't have a spark. Kind of sucks. I want a new one. Kind of broke. But I know somebody that sells them. I'm gonna go to the prop shop. Prop shop Philly. Hashtag that shit. Go see my boy down at the prop shop. He's there right now. I already called him. I'm gonna try to weasel spark off them, or at least let me open a box and plug this in to see if we can use this rotor right controller to fly a spark. Da, da, da. Prop shop! The only prop shop. How are you? What's up? What's up, Scoop? I'm chilling, bro. That's Scooby. Rock Lex, rock. hello? Yo, what's up? Bro? I'm here for something. No, I wish. 
There we are. Let's fucking, let's talk about this game controller, huh? All right, so there's the deal. To properly test all the functions of this controller, this one was apparently chosen because it has a protocol that works with DJI right off the bat. Here at the prop shop, I try to weasel a spark off Lex. I don't have enough money for one because they're fucking expensive, and he's not trying to give me any fucking deals. So yeah, Lex, bullshit. Lex, here I'm, hey, sell me half of a spark now, and I'll give you half in two weeks when I get paid. If your name's Bob, <laughs> I, I might be able to do something. All right, so this video, you would not get to see the full extent of this fucking controller. You would only get to see the video game part. Now you get to see it fly a spark, thanks to Prop Shop. Burr, burr, burr. <laughs> they have a lot of props. Go to the Prop Shop, Philadelphia, 1200 Washington Avenue for all your fucking drone needs. Come to, if you live in Philly, just come down here and hang out. I'll be sitting on that couch, playing liftoff or watching my own YouTube videos on that TV. Lex is always here. You. Spend money on this shit so it stays open so I can get more deals off him. All right, let's open the spark. In real life, this was an hour and a half to two hours later. My phone would not install the fucking DJI app. I updated my phone, I updated the Google, I didn't have the Google store, I'm lying to you. I cleared the cache, I forced stop, I did a bunch of bullshit. Wouldn't work, I bought that Leechy $24 fucking app, wouldn't install. Nothing would fucking work, but guess what? I uninstalled all that bullshit games that I showed you earlier for the controller, I uninstalled all those, and then the DJI app installed. I don't know, that shouldn't have worked, but it worked. But this motherfucker ain't even open yet. Let's open this brand new, fresh, clean spark. Thanks to Alex in the prop shop, Philadelphia 1200 Washington Avenue. Shop there. Let's open this bitch up, get hooked up to the phone, and see if you can use a Rotor Riot gaming pad controller thing to control a spark inside of the prop shop. Oh my god, so, <sighs> there's a fucking update for the spark. I can't update it unless the aircraft is over 40% charged battery. This is a brand new fucking spark, so the battery's not at 40%. It's like six o'clock. I have to do my live stream at nine o'clock. I can't fucking sit here and wait for this stupid thing to slowly charge so I can update it so I can finally try to do it. Which means I'm gonna have to do a palm out when it palms back or when I transition. Uh, which means I'm gonna have to do a fucking transition here, wait till this motherfucker charges and do the rest of this controller review at my house or tomorrow or some fucking bullshit. God damn it, I really wanna do it today. All right, here's a bot transition to the next day or whatever. Ta-da, tight. Another successful live stream. It's a new day, still the sun is out. I'm pointing towards the light. The sun is out. Let's go fucking try this thing. Let's use the road ride controller on the spark. I'm gonna go buy a memory card first, though. All right, first things, they're shooting like a music video behind me. First things first, since I haven't flown a spark in a while, I'm gonna fly it first with just my phone. I have the like RC ready to control DJI controller, but I'm gonna use my phone to make sure I can just fly it, and then I'm gonna try out the Road Riot controller. How's it audio? Shitty? I'm sorry. All right, it flies. It says radio connection poor. So I'm not positive what that means. I might Google it or I might just go for it. I'm probably just gonna go for it, fuck it. Let's, let's try the controller. Well, I couldn't get it to work. Um, I hit up Capper, he assured me it works. They had it working at the x Hover warehouse. I'm also new to the software for the DJI, so I'm almost positive it's something on my end and it would work. I'm gonna try to figure it out. If I don't figure it out by the end of this video, I'll just leave an update in the comments what the fuck the problem was if you guys want to know. Who knows, the Spark has a short ass battery life, so I probably should have done some research before I just went out and tried it. But it's not my style, bro. It's not my style. It's super fucking windy. These leaves have some beautiful colors out here. I do have a mini quad and like four batteries on me, so I'm gonna go rip a pack. If I don't get caught in a tree and get mad, I'll include it in this video.
figured it out. <laughs> the problem with the Spark, there was an update in the DJI app that fucked up controller support because it was working with everything. Uh, I hit up Capper, it worked on his Mavic, he just tried it, it had the same issue as me. So it's gotta be something in the update since the controller was working. Regardless, it will work eventually for the Spark, so that's tight. Right now, it works flawlessly on the emulators that I run for the old school fucking video games, and for that, I think 49 bucks ain't too fucking chappy. And in the future, there is gonna be some sick ass lift off drone fucking Tony Hawk game. There has to be. And I'm gonna wanna have this ready when it does come out so I can start playing that shit. You guys, thank you very much for watching this fucking rambling on vlog about a little fucking game controller thingy and a spark that didn't work or whatever. I don't know. Um, dislike, unsubscribe, all that fucking shit. Cheers. <laughs>